another note inside of this garage. You can see the ceiling that goes above a gas water heater. It looks like there's a lot of water damage and in this particular section, I think the second bathroom is right above this section, so it may be that we have a leak here. You can see it's a gas water heater. The water heater seems to be in pretty good condition and no flaws to that. All right, one spot on the garage wall that is significant. That spot is about 12 inches long and it just simply looks as though someone backed into the garage. All right. Now, one particular spot in the hallway behind the garage, you see the damage on the door that's leading to the exterior. You can see a, a large gaping hole or gap that is allowing a lot of cool air through. The tenant was complaining that it's super cold in the basement and was worried that the heat was not working. But looking at the basement area with the garage, uh, some poorly finished spots, it, the reason it's cool is simply because so much air is coming in. We're gonna go through the second doorway in the garage and head back upstairs. Heading back upstairs, you can see that the door on this side is in good shape. The hardwood floor is solid and in good shape as well. It looks like this is actually a laminate floor. You can tell from the small chipped spot there. And again, you see that the carpet needs a thorough cleaning. You can see some spots there. Looking into the living room. The living room is in good shape, has a, a vaulted ceiling. Dining room is just to the left of the living room. And then a look through in the kitchen, and then down the hallway. One note that we want to make in the living room is that just above the front window, you have a section of water leak that is about three and a half to four feet long and about two feet wide. You can see previous water damage there. Right. Walking into the kitchen. Cabinets are a white, smooth surface cabinet. The cabinets are in good condition, good working order. You see just a couple of spots here to where there's a, a small peeling section on the cabinets. You see a spot just to the left of the side of the door as well. Appliances, we've got a gas range, a white over-under refrigerator, and then a white dishwasher. There's a spot here where it looks like the cabinets are detaching from the wall. Some attention will need to be paid to that. And then you've got a Formica laminate style countertop double sink. One thing to note inside of the dinette area, the dinette has a, a bay window area just off of the kitchen. That's the door that leads out to the deck. One thing to note is that there is a, a large section, four by eight. It's a little harder to see in the video, but you can see there and there's a section that looks like mold is starting. Uh, that's a section there that indicates black mold.
is starting. All right. Closet door. A small room closet just off the kitchen. And then down the hallway. To the right is the guest bath. This would be the bath where that is above the spot in the garage that had the leak in the ceiling. Across from the bath is one of the bedrooms. Vaulted ceiling in all of the bedrooms that are upstairs. This would be technically the master bedroom, though it is being used by one of the, the teen or preteen girls. Switch plates are all dirty or uh, painted over. There's a spot on this wall that is a, about the size of a hand that will need some sheetrock repair. And then there's the what would technically be the master bath. Double vanity. The linen closet, you can see that there's some brackets missing. Faucets are working. And then a garden tub with shower. And then the toilet. Most of the items in the bathroom are things that are pretty dated. You can see it looks like there's some water damage here. Uh, this seems to correspond with the open space on the back side of the house where the vinyl siding is missing. Seems to be at about the same position to where maybe they had taken that off to do some repair work. Coming out of the master and into, there's another little small linen closet. You can see on this door, there's some tape here. That's uh, again, to give reference, that is about as wide as a man's hand. And then on one door, seems to be the only door with damage is a spot that's about the size of a softball in this bedroom. In this bedroom, you'll see that one closet door is broken. It's missing some of the hardware for the tracking. And then you'll see, and this is indicative in several parts of the house, just switch plates missing and places, certainly the walls need to be painted. Here you see a broken switch plate. All right, this concludes the video tour for Ruby Walk.